Hello, my name is Derek Franklin, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the great enhancements in SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2015 to really help solve analysis needs faster, as well as get a greater understanding of the performance of our designs. With nonlinear analysis, it is sometimes very difficult to know how the model is performing during the solve until the very end. That need has been addressed in SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2015 with the ability to view nonlinear results at each time step while the analysis is solving. This gives you immediate feedback as to what is taking place in the model, making it therefore easy to see not only if there is a problem, but to identify if there is anything else that's incorrect. And we can stop the calculation and correct it immediately instead of having to wait until the entire analysis completes. This can be a huge time saver in addition to providing immediate feedback on the progress. It has been a challenge in the past to analyze models subjected to a large number of load conditions. In SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2015, the new load case manager makes it very easy to set up a large number of load conditions in a tabular format. There are even filters for focusing just on loads, restraints, or connectors. It is quite flexible and easy to toggle on specific loads or restraints as well as adjust the values of the loads to suit the load condition. In this case, we're applying a torque load on the bracket. And the interface makes it very convenient to tailor the loads as needed. Formulas and conditions can be used to combine load cases together to ensure compounded performance requirements are satisfied. As you can see, this covers many facets of testing in one location, significantly reducing time and the setup work needed. Results are viewed in the same tabular format where you can look at any of the load cases that have been run. You can also track critical performance information using sensors to compare performance across the load cases such as peak stresses or deflection. This aids in identifying the most critical low cases. When it comes to vibration analysis, durability and fatigue are of common concern. It is also beneficial to identify key characteristics for the various vibration modes. So, a new frequency response graph has been added to enable review of mass participation for the modes. This helps in identifying the direction being excited by a particular mode as well as the proportion. In this instance, the Z component is being excited by the first mode the most. We can also adjust to look at the cumulative mass participation to show out of all the modes the cumulative amounts combined. Fatigue studies now support loads from random or harmonic vibration analysis. Specific frequencies can be chosen to perform a life analysis or multiple frequencies at different cycle amounts can be used to determine cumulative damage. This is a great way of verifying the durability of our design. Again, this has been a video showing some of the what's new features in SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2015. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.